Hey, everybody. Bum, 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 bum. Welcome to Dave TV. How y'all doing, everybody? It's the 29th of October, 2014. Um, the day of the funeral for Ben Bradley. So there we go. An appreciation in the Washington Post today on the style section for the late, great Ben Bradley there with his buddies, Woodward and Bernstein. He is the truth seeker. Okay, anyway. That's cool. Big funeral. You know, they do that at the National Cathedral. It's kind of almost like a state funeral for celebrity journalists. You know, remember Tim Russer? I think that's where he had his. And You know, it'll be a big thing. And uh, it, just, it just shows you kind of the, the once great Washington Post how we got today. Look at this. Rocket launch explodes in Virginia. And no picture. <laughs> I don't know. Page two. A nice gray article. I don't know. You've got a, huge, a big picture of it on the Washington Post website of the rocket exploding. It didn't put it in the newspaper. I mean, that's the kind of thing that, you know what? you got a big color picture. And you could have slapped that on the front page of the Washington Post today. But nope, you didn't. Nope, didn't do that. Didn't do it. I don't know. Go figure. That's just more of that go figure kind of stuff, huh? I don't know. Phone's ringing. Uh, yeah, well, I'm going to have to call. I'm going to have to answer that one back. How y'all doing, everybody? Welcome to Dave TV. Let's turn on the, turn on the, the light. Wake up. Turn on the light there and take a look at the uh, radio ratings. <laughs> so let's see. We have uh, we have Hot 99. Here's an interesting thing. The, the October radio ratings, I'm sure they're showing some weakness in WTOP. OK, they are. You know, WTOP, if you look at the money demo, which is 2554, where's WTOP? Third, tied for third place, okay? Um, they had a 6-1 share in August, a 6-1 in September, and a 5-7 in October. So a little bit of weakness there. And if you look at WNEW, the rival, they're up to 21st place. You know, so I mean, it's not like WNEW is going to take over right away, but there is a little bit of weakness going on there. You know, a little bit. You're starting, you know, it's like getting into the third year of this battle between these all news. Yeah, I think you're starting to see a little bit of movement there, but it's very, very slow. And again, it's all about ad revenue dollars and is is W uh, T O P is W N E W siphoning any ad revenue dollars away? Who knows? But anyhow, top station in the money demo is Hot 99.5. Um, they're up from a 6.8 in August to a 7.5 now, WWDC, DC 101, surprisingly, and a, a rocker, you know, rock radio today is not doing so hot, rock radio, um, they're up to a uh, second place, 5.8 share, uh, Kane is, uh, Kane, on, Kane, Kane on Hot 95 is first, and Elliot is fifth in that money demo, so that's pretty cool, WHUR is third, uh, they're up from fifth place in August to a uh, 5.7, and um, which up a little bit and um, fourth place in Morty's T.O.P. as we said is third place with a five seven and third place in morning second place in afternoons but again they're not like stellar number one now if you look at that overall demo numbers they do a lot better but this is the money demo so you know this is the one the advertisers pay a little more attention to whamu fifth place um, they're up a, t a tad from sixth place two months ago wash is sixth place they're sagging a little bit but you know, with Christmas coming up next month, next month's Christmas, remember, at least for Wash, they'll, they'll take a, a shoot up to number one. Fresh 94.7, good news for CBS, seventh place there, up from eighth place. Tommy McFly is doing a fairly strong ninth place there in the mornings. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good for Tommy. Uh, PGC, also uh, another CBS station, eighth place. Um, they're down a tad from sixth place in August on the downward slide of a little rating spike there, but they're still doing, still doing okay, 11th place for that morning show. KYS, ninth place. Now, KYS doesn't look so good in the overall numbers, but, uh, you know, ninth place. Uh, JFK, 10th place. They were up from 14th place in August, obviously because of the winning nationals. 
<clears throat> again, these October numbers are mainly September-ish. Okay, so a lot of that, they were carrying a lot of the uh, Nationals playoffs there. Um, bum, 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 WMMJ 10th place, tied with JFK. Um, big 12th place in the money demo. MAL 13th place. Now, MAL, if you look at the overall numbers in the righty talkers um, um, format there, if you look at the overall numbers, they're up to like 6th or 7th. So they're way up there in the top 10. But if you look at the money demo there, 13th place. Again, they skew old. So if you're looking at the money demo, you don't count the people over 20 or 54. <laughs> it's already, you don't count anyone over 20. Though, right? um, okay, so and what do we have? Uh, eighth place for mornings there. Sixth place for middays. And that's the uh, crazy loony, sternish Chris Plant and Rush. And then 15th place. They need, MAL needs to get rid of Michael Savage. When all your station's doing better than your afternoon drive, they need to discharge Michael Savage and have a live and local afternoon show. I know Bill Hess agrees with me. I know he does. I know he does. He's probably saying, get rid of Savage. He's killing us. Um, <clears throat> WMZQ 13th place, down just a tad from two months ago. GTS, Christian Contemporary 15th place. They're down a bit. Uh, WTEM 16th place. Um, they're up from 20th place. So again, the Redskins, you know, they always get a surge in the fall. 17th place there for uh, WRQX. Um, I guess you could say they're on a slight upward tag there, but still not very fast. <laughs> um, 20th place for the morning show, which ain't good. That's that Sarah Fraser thing. Um, PRS, praise 17th place. I guess tied with them. them. Anyhow, Elzal 19th place. Uh, Weed FM, 20th place. WNEW, as I said, 21st place. They are, you know, slowly, slowly, kind of gradually going up, but extraordinarily slowly. 22nd place in August. 24th, the little dip there for September, but now back to 21st place. And their Baltimore numbers aren't doing very well. So that whole thing of, you know, slanting their coverage to Baltimore, they're not even showing up very well in the Baltimore. They do better than TOP in the Baltimore market, but, you know, it's just, what does it matter? Um, so, you know, I do think there is a little bit of a give and take there between T.O.P. and N.E.W., but T.O.P. is still massively ahead. And, you know, you could say these October numbers are a blip, you know, even though T.O.P. is still number one in the overall demo thingies, they six pluses. You know, we're looking at the 2554s, W.F.R.E. 21st, Wink F.M. out of Winchester 23rd, Q.S.R. 24th, um, W.D.C.N. 25th there, uh, Laffey. Uh, key 103, 26, uh, whatever. TNT, and WTNT, little Spanish station there at uh, 27th place. So that's not too bad for them. KDB, their Metro Radio partner, also doing Spanish at 27th. So both stations are tied at 27th. Okay, so that's interesting. And what other, okay, Wave Up, 27th place, you know, what, what do you expect from them? And that's about it. So, you know, I guess the big news the big news would have to be the strength of Hot 99.5, the fact that they're yeah, maybe seeing a teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny influence of WNEW and TOPs. A little bit of weak, little teeny, tiny bit of weakness there, but not much. And still a general overall lack of performance there for DC's 107.3 and their morning show. So that's the big news right now. Um, Tom Taylor, who I like a lot. Tom Taylor now, really good little uh, daily uh, little newsletter there of the radio business and his take on things in um, the Washington market, basically, um, yeah, basically the same take, you know. Interesting, he said the Baltimore's WJZ, um, actually, the sports target from Baltimore actually showed up in the D.C. book with a 0.1 share. That's interesting. I don't know. Uh, Baltimore numbers, I don't want to neglect them. POC is at the tops. Um BAL's doing fairly well, you know, with the Orioles that they boosted them quite a bit. Um, you know, sports is fu you know fueling. Uh, you know, JFK, JZFM 1057, the fan always does well. Hurts, Hurst's 98 Rock does pretty well also. Uh, so there, you know, Carrie, Carrie Behage in there, whoever the new the new guy who's running Hurst Baltimore seems to be doing some good stuff at least. But it could also just be luck. You never know because you know. The Ravens and you know, the Ravens, you know, the Ravens on the game one station, and the the Orioles have been playing well before they got bounced out. But whatever. All right, folks. So the other big news, really quickly, is Bill Lord. Bill Lord, Lordy Lord, 
going from uh, WJLA, uh, which got bought by Sinclair, and then he got bounced out of there after many years as their new czar and their general manager. Now he's over at WUSA, starting a job over there. What's he going to do for WUSA? You know, WUSA's ratings stink. Their news ratings have been crappy for a long time. Um, I don't know, you know. Um, the, the thing is with W. JLA, you know, he he did some good stuff at JLA, but they weren't they still never were at the top of the heap in terms of news in the Washington market. And that still belongs to um that still belongs to um WRC. And even WTTG Channel Five, Fox Five's been you know, they tend to do better than JLA in a lot of the day parts. So, you know, one of the things Bill Lord did though was he brought a lot of the old timers over. You know, the Gordon Petersons and the Doug Hills. Doug, yeah, you're an old timer. And uh, Maureen Bunyan over there, to, and Bob Ryan we brought all of them over, you know, and uh, you know did okay with the ratings there. But I don't know what he's going to do over there at Channel Nine. What he's got to work with, I don't know. <clears throat> what I would tell, what I would do, I would really make a complete mat radical makeover for W um, USA. I would get rid of these news sets and I would go back to basic news. Just have a blue screen behind the anchor. Just go back to basic, basic news. Just make you know solid half-hour newscasts. Just so, you know, just the basics. Get rid of all the glitz. Get rid of the stupid, happy, stupid, happy talk. Get rid of all the crap. Get rid of all the scroll crap. I mean, there's a okay to have a little scroll, but don't overdo it. And just go back to a basic newsy newscast. Come almost back to like the 70s in a weird way. Just the basics and see how that doesn't do anything. It would differentiate yourself from the other guys. Something different, you know. Away from the happy talk, away from the silly banter, back to news, solid news, simple sets, or just a blue screen in the background. Do something, go back to basics. And then maybe get Gordon Peterson if his contract's up at Channel 7, which I think it is this year, and get him to come back to Channel 9 and make out a big promotional thing. Gordon's back to Channel 9. And then he could just be like the Dean, the news emeritus dude. You know, he could come on and comment about news and stuff. He doesn't have to actually do a full-blown news anchor position, but just have his presence there on the station. He could be the wise old man of DC News and do commentaries and stuff like that, but at least have a presence there. Maybe you know, bring some of those folks back. I don't know. I think that would be cool. What do you think? Anyway, who knows? Uh, somebody said uh, over there at Channel Nine told me that the, the Bezos, the Bezos guys, no, the Bezos, no, Jeff Bezos, they, what's the company? Bello, the Bello guys are ruining things. The Bello, what was it? Bello Broadcasting and Gannett merged, and they, they got the Bello people from Texas running things these days, and they're just driving things into the dumpster. So we'll see. Oh yeah, Jeff Bezos buys Channel Nine. Oh yeah, and he could reunite Channel Nine, you know, with the Post, and then bring the TOP caller back, TOP too, and buy, put all three, bring WTOP callers back to Channel Nine, and the old, the old days. I gotta go, man. My brain's fried. Ah. Oh. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching Dave TV for the 29th of October, 2014. As Bill Lord says, book 'em, Dano.